Do you even know how powerful your seed is? As of 2021, the population of the United States is 331.9 million people and one release of your nut has over 200 to 500 million sperm cells. And if you were to give each of those sperm cells, 200 to 500 million sperm cells, to 200 to 500 million female eggs, you could potentially populate the entire United States with just one release of your nut. Just one release. That's how powerful your seed is. Your seed is life force energy. Your seed has the potential to create another human being. That's something that we as men carry in our body. That powerful, powerful thing of being able to create another human being with our seed. Just one seed. I mean, you got to think about it. I never used to think about this back when I wasn't on retention. We create another human being with this snut that we have. I didn't know how powerful my seed was until I started to actually question like, damn, I could create another human being with my seed. And the fact that I could populate the entire United States with just one release of my nut. If I was to give each of my sperm cells to one female egg, each and every single one, I could literally populate the, United, the entire United States. It is the start of the new year and it is time for you as a man to change your life, to be a different man than you were six months ago. This start of the new year is the start of you changing your life. And one of the things that I've done myself to change my life, to improve myself is retaining my nut. One of the strongest desires that us as human beings have is our sexual desire i mean that's one of the strongest desires that we have it is very hard to overcome that desire and when you are able to overcome that desire when you are able to overcome your sexual urges and transmute it transform that into something that you are passionate about into any creative endeavor that you have that's a very powerful ability that us men can do but many fail to do so men are sleeping with women that they don't know to satisfy their sexual desires or releasing the nut to the hub. And that's so damaging to you that literally weakens you, makes you more weaker. And I didn't even know that it was damaging me. I mean, like giving me less mental clarity, less energy, less drive, all these different damages that it was doing to me that I, I wasn't even aware of until I went on retention and I started to retain my seed. I started to realize how it was benefiting me to not let go of my nut. I mean, that one thing that I said in the beginning of this video, that one fact, the fact that you could literally populate the entire United States with just one nut, that's crazy to even think about, to be honest. That's actually crazy when you actually step back and think for a second, like, damn, that's how powerful your nut is. You can literally create a whole little, like literally a, a whole city full of your own selves, or full of your own versions, just, you know, juniors of yourself. Like that's crazy to even think about. And you are releasing it to the hub, watching a guy clap some girl's cheeks who you don't even, you don't even know these people and they don't even know that you exist. And you're just watching this guy go crazy on this girl's cheeks and you're 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 rubbing your meat during what during that session of you watching that and you're letting go of your nut to that what if you're not doing that right you go on to sleep with women that you don't even know you don't have no emotional connection with you don't love her you don't like you don't even like her all you see is just a little bit of, of cheeks and you are like you know your 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 you know your man down there rises and you instantly let those urges take over your mind and then you go straight to clapping them cheeks when you are letting your sexual desires when you let your urges take over your mind when you let that overcome you you're basically saying that you are letting your mind and your urges be more stronger than you and so you basically lose control at that point you lose power over yourself and when you lose power over yourself you become weaker in the process. I'm not gonna lie to you, even when you are in retention, there are some days where you will get urges here and there. You know, just because you are in retention doesn't mean that you're a freaking robot. You're still human, you still have feelings, you still feel these urges like, you know, wanting to clap some cheeks or wanting to rub your meat. Like you still get these urges, but when you are able to overcome those urges, when you get them, like that's so much strength. That requires a lot of strength, a lot of determination, a lot of power, a lot of willpower. And when you're able to do that, you are basically conquering your own self. When you're able to overcome urges of your own self, like for example, eating urges, sexual urges, when you're able to overcome both of those urges, which are one of the strongest urges that we get as humans, you know, the urge to eat that donut that you see right there in front of you, or the urge to clap them cheeks or rub your meat, like those urges that you get are very easy to fall to. But when you fail to fall to those urges and you basically take the courage and the willpower to not do those things, you become stronger in the process. And that's basically how powerful semen retention is to you. It's more of a mental battle with yourself when you are on retention because you're gonna get these urges when you're on retention. You're gonna get these urges to maybe you wanna clap some cheeks. You know, maybe you got that girl that you know you just instantly just you just send a text and you you know you get yourself an Uber or something and you go straight to the crib and you start clapping them cheeks. Maybe that's too difficult so for some men. 
But one of the ways that men find it very easy to let go of their nut to satisfy their desire is to just easily, quickly go online, search up the hub, spend like 30 minutes to an hour searching that video, and then just releasing that nut. Just think about it. If you were to hold in, you could have became way stronger as a man. Not only physically, but just mentally. The fact that you overcame your urges, that takes a lot of power. And if you were to be able to do that, you become stronger mentally when you do that. Because it's not easy to do the hard things. It's not easy to do the hard things. It's just like when you want to wake up early in the morning, but you know, you're know you cozy in your bed, it's cold, it's winter, and you're just covered in your sheets. Like It takes a lot of strength to wake up early when the alarm goes off and to get up from your bed. And, j and just like it takes strength to do that, it also takes strength to not fall to your urges when you get them. To not fall to the urge of clapping some cheeks. To not fall to the urge of rubbing your meat and letting go of your nut. It's very easy to fall to those urges and when you don't do that, it takes a lot of strength and you become stronger when you do that. You create another human being with this nut that you have. Imagine if you were to just hold it in and do something with that energy that you get because you will get energy when you go on retention. Imagine what you were to do when you were to transform this creative energy that you have within you into something else, into your passion, into your mission, into your staying focused. Because when you are releasing your nut every single day, you lose focus while you do that. Mentally, you lose focus. You lose mental clarity. You're more focused on the cheeks and the hub. One of the best ways that you could transform this creative energy is working out by just going to the gym or working out at home, getting yourself some weights, doing some calisthenics if maybe you're that type of guy. Transforming this energy that you get from retention and doing it to better your overall quality of life. That's one of the most powerful combos that you could do in your life to improve yourself as a man. I mean, even Muhammad Ali, one of the greatest boxers of all time, this guy retain his nut when he was training for fights. He even retained sometimes for a year to train for a fight because of how powerful he knew that his seed was and how damaging it was to release your nut before a fight, before a major sporting event, before an event that you were gonna try to perform at your highest level physically. He knew how damaging it would be if he were to release his nut. It was very easy for him to sleep with any woman that he wanted. And so to not do that and to remain focused on what he was doing is what led him to be known today as one of the greatest boxers of all time. If he would have released his nut all the time during his fights, he probably would have never gotten to that point. This has been known for hundreds of years. People back in the day, our ancestors knew how powerful a nut is. And I'm actually glad that's becoming more well known because I feel like if every man were to retain their nut, I'm not saying that you should retain your nut for your entire life because obviously one day you're going to want to have kids like every man, you know, the majority of men, that's what the majority of us men think of having kids, of creating a legacy, creating our future kids and our future, future kids. Like that's what a lot of men of, of us men want to do. And obviously, if you want to do that, you need a woman to do that with. But if you're going to release your nut, you're going to release it to at least a girl that you actually have a connection with, a girl who you actually have feelings for you, who you love. But a lot of guys are doing the opposite of that. Many are just releasing their nut through the hub just watching something that has literally no meaning and is actually damaging you psychologically, physically, and mentally. And a lot of people are releasing their nut to women they don't know, they don't have no connection with. And this leads them to have this empty feeling within them because they think that by sleeping with these all different women that they don't know, they think that that's gonna fill that void within them that they have when in reality it's not. You will fill that void within you when you sleep with a woman who you actually love, who you actually have a connection with, and you release your nut through that way. Because we, are spiritual beings, as you all know. We are spiritual beings having a human experience. And so when you are sleeping with a woman, you are basically sharing energy with each other. And so if there's one thing that you as a man can do this year to improve your life, is to go on retention, to retain your seed. It's one of the best ways that you as a man can improve. Because you gotta think about it. Like, imagine how powerful you would be. Imagine how different your life would be if you were to retain your nut. This nut that has the potential to create another human being. I mean, when you sleep with a woman and you let go of your nut into her, you know, there's a high possibility that she ends up, you know, pregnant and she ends up having a kid and that's your kid. And it was possible because of you, because you released your nut. That nut that you released created another human being. That's, that's how powerful your nut is. And then when you're releasing it all the time, every single day, like through the hub, you're mentally becoming weaker because your, your nut never had a purpose to begin with. Your nut never had a purpose when you released it. When you release your nut, you have to have a purpose and it has to be a meaningful purpose. Not like some purpose where, you know, you're gonna release your nut because you feel like it, you got an urge. That's a meaningless purpose. You, you're because Just because you get urges doesn't mean that you have to go release your nut every single day. Just like, just because you have an urge to eat that donut or eat that pizza doesn't mean you're gonna eat that donut or pizza every time you have that desire to eat it. Because if that were the case, you would never have the 
results that you want from your body you will never have that dream body that you want because you're gonna fall to your urges every single time you get them and that's the same way with your nut if you were to get that urge of releasing your nut and you were to fall to those urges every single time you get them which us as men we get them all the time basically especially when we're young which is when we're young we have the highest testosterone this is when we get the most urges if you were to fall to those urges every single time you're gonna basically lose focus all the time because you're releasing your nut and with that release of your nut you're losing mental clarity you're losing energy you're losing drive you're losing focus so if you were to retain that and just transmute this creative energy that you got within you into your work into your passion any hobbies that you want anything that you want to improve on outside of your life outside of your work life on relationships on your family on your goals on working out and bettering your physique if you were to transmute that creative energy that you got you'll be a whole different man a couple of months from now. But anyways, that's all I gotta say. I'm out.